The following preview has been approved for appropriate audience. Motion pictures created by Bytes Crafter. Watching videos is advised. Visit our website for more videos. www.bytescrafter.weebly.com Welcome guys to the part 2 of PHP MySQL database tutorial. I'm Cesar from Bytes Crafter. We will start by setting up XAMPP which will be used to simulate online PHP server. The second is Notepad++ which will be used as an PHP editor. So uh, before that guys if you could visit me here on my free website called the bytescrafter.pvd.com we have uh, updates forum tutorial project products resources about the development that will be used in the development it's free so let's continue here at the zam apacheprints.org you can download the specific setup which corre corresponds to your operating system we have here uh, ZAMP for Windows, ZAMP for Linux, ZAMP for OS X or Apple. So, ZAMP is completely free, easy to install Apache distribution containing MariaDB, PHP, and Perl. So, the next one is the Notepad++. Note, Notepad++ is also free. It is used as a PHP editor. In Unity 3D, it's like a mono behavior editor. So, reminder before installing the ZAMP, please install it inside or directly on the C drive. Don't install it uh, inside the program files, window, Windows folder, or any of the system folders. The purpose of this is to prevent any window permission error. So after installing the ZAMP, just close this and run, just search here ZAMP, run the ZAMP control panel. Here depending on the your downloaded version, here I have my version 3.2.2, here is the look of, look of the 3.2.2. So what you need to do here in the control panel is two easy steps, just start the Apache server service sorry and the mysql service if you see here that uh it is highlighted a green background it is successfully initialized what you need to do is just x or if you close this it is automatically minimized on the system tree so the next one to do is to download the notepad plus plus and another advice, after downloading, please uh, set the Notepad++ as a default editor for the PHP file. You can do that just by, for example, just by going here at the ZAM and at HT Documents. And I made my folder here. Just uh, click Properties and in the Open with just Change and Apply. Now, the default editor for PHP is the Notepad++. You can see here with the icons. So, what is this uh, folder? If I go back to the system file, I open uh, ZAMP, then go to htdocs, and I made uh, my custom folder called the sample SQL. And here, it composes all of my coded PHP file. So I will uh, explain a little bit of some of the code. So check value, for example, authentication in the authentication or login. It will check the username and, and the password if it corresponds or it if it is available. Get value is the user will provide a username and get value get value of all the corresponding details such as for a specific uh, username it will get its first name last name password email etc the list value it is it will go it will get all the registered players or user 
the set value uh, it's like a registration it will insert data to the database update value it is like for example the player is leveling up to level 2 it will update the data up, update the data from level 1 to data 2 so that uh, database will synchronize throughout the internet so next initializing the XAMPP server so let's go to the local host it is found locally on your drive you can access the PHP admin so let's go to PHP admin to the MySQL here uh, there is a template provided by the XAMPP but here I made a user database just create user info so how to make a database first is you need to create just type here uh, for example the because I made a user database I can make a user databases just to separate it from the first one so let's create user databases here you don't have any tables for example this the pre-made one has its table called, called the user info if I click on the user info you can you can see that there is an available uh, account here and for this structure the structure is like this identity username password email first name last name gender age depending on you you can add you can add just by uh, you can easily add uh, rows here depending so let's start let's create a new table called the user info also so the table we will make an eight columns of table so let's go what you need to do is uh, identity identity the ID of the player so it is save the next one is the username the next one is the password next is uh, I think it's email and first name last name gender and age so that's it the first one the type should be an integer because this is uh sorry this is an id so it will be one id one id two id three depending on the starting value so we will set this an as an int or integer the next one this all of this will be a bar chart or a string bar chart just set this to bar chart and you can set the value here the value the maximum length so i think the username the the length the maximum letters will be 12 characters the password also 12 characters email would be 24 i think and first name 12 also last name 12 gender it would be female and male so it's like seven length length of seven age will be two characters only and it will be a number so what you need to do in here at row identity you need to auto increment so for example a new a new user the last user registered user is identity of three the new user will be identity of four because of this uh, auto increment uh, so just exit this and click is a unique uh, just type here uh, what index name just go and that's it 
you need to save your table just click save and here you have your own structure you could add here just by uh, adding columns here here you can add columns for example you need to add four columns and go then you need to also set the bar chart and the ident uh, the ID so that's it you did set uh, you can manually insert data in your database just by going to user info and you can insert data for example I will insert data just never mind this function I will insert data psychos and the you uh, sorry identity should be null this SQL will automatically generate its corresponding identity so username will be psychos password will, will be one two three four five six seven email would be uh, bytes raptor at gmail that come first name would be Cesar last name would be the Castro gender would be male and age would be 24 so if I go here is the sum of the method just select insert update delete here are some of the method that you can access the database so just by going to SQL yet but if you go to user info I have a new, uh, new user called uh, username psychos but we can easily access that BS script in unity 3d that's it for now guys on the next part where we are gonna make some coding on PHP and accessing it from a C sharp in unity 3d so thank you for watching and hope that you subscribe and like my video so and if you have time please visit me at Google Play at Bytescrafter PH uh, you can download some of my games and application uh, using that implementation and also I have a Facebook page called Bytescrafter you could visit me uh, so thank you and have a nice day Thank you for watching. If you like this video, click subscribe. More to come. Click here to play this video.